Please help me welcome the cast of Elysium, starting with Simon Kinberg. Mr. Charlto Copley. Jody Foster. And Mr. Matt Damon. Neil, things do not look good in the future. <laughs> Did you guys like? <laughs> Good, good, yeah, I, uh, I'm glad. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the origin of this idea, how it came to you, and, and what it means to you. Uh, well, the, the origin of it was to just try to make, you know, it, it was really the idea of the space station that was separate from Earth, that had this, uh, the, 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 the wealth of Earth had been taken and separated from Earth, and that we'd left this kind of impoverished planet behind us you know, as a world, as, a, as an environment to begin a story inside of. That was the genesis. Um, by the way, uh, a first time welcome, I think, to Matt and Jody being here at Comic-Con. I think this is your first time here. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Um, Matt, what drew you to the project? When you, when you read the script, what, did you, what, did you, uh, what grabbed you and wanted you to be a part of it? No, it was Neil. I mean, it was re really uh, an easy, very easy decision for me. I, if, if Neil had... After I saw District 9, if, if, if Neil had asked me, just called me up out of the blue and said, this is Neil Blomkamp, will you be in my next <laughs> movie? I would have said yes. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> uh, he actually had a lot more information for me than that because he not only had this great script, but there was a whole um, book that he'd done, like a whole graphic novel that he'd done on his computer with this entire world that he'd built uh, it, that was just in such incredible detail and uh, so like arresting. I mean, I couldn't believe how, I, I, it was this thing where it's like I'd never seen anything like it, but it was familiar to me right away, you know? It was just, just great. And then there was a whole corresponding book of weaponry and then a whole other book of, with vehicles. I mean, it was just, it was incredible. So I had a, a lot of, uh, a lot to go on. Like normally when we decide to do something, you know, I always tell my friends, if a movie doesn't quite work, I say, well, you know, we don't get to see it before we decide to be in it, you know? <laughs> It'd be really easy if we could see them first. Uh, but, uh, you know, you just kind of make an educated guess. And, um, and I had so much information here. This was the kind of thing where I just said, there's no way I'm gonna let this get away. Like, I have to be a part of this. And Jody, how about you? How did you get involved? We, we didn't see much of your character in there, but you don't look like a good person. I know that much. I Jody like does what? a lot of the acting in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> the important talking scenes. Um, I do a little bit of talking. Um, I, I saw District 9, and I felt like it was a perfect film. And um, I wish that I had directed the damn movie. <laughs> and uh, after I got over jealousy, um, I just said, um, can, I just want to, I want to work with this guy. Uh, and luckily, the script came in, and there was a girl in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that was really that was really the beginning of it. But um, you know, um, it also happens to be a beautiful script, and it's about all sorts of things that matter to me. And it's interesting to see somebody who's able to marry, uh, you know, the uh, an intellectual idea, big ideas, with beautiful, primitive, um, gut wrenching explosions and death and all that other good stuff. The film does seem to take the concept of the haves and have-nots to a disturbing level. Um, not to, to impose any politics onto the film that doesn't belong there, but it, it's obviously a big part of the film. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a big part of, of the story you're trying to tell as well, right? Yeah, I mean, there's, a, there's definitely, there's no question that the theme is, the theme is about wealth discrepancy and about, about the separation between rich and poor. But, um, you know, primarily, I mean, the, just as a science fiction setting and as a place for, for a story to take place inside of, which is really, really where the, the genesis, I think, for, you know, for the kinds of films I want to make. They just, they need to take place inside of interesting environments. Uh, it, it, w it, became, it, it, it became a science fiction place that I just wanted to see th these characters and the story uh, evolve inside of. So. The, the, the subtext to the film are, I guess, those, those relatively um, you know, important and, and pretty, pretty uh, apparent in the film themes and ideas. But you know, layered on top of that is a lot of, a lot of explosions and popcorn. <laughs> Bodies exploding. Yeah. 